<laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing a 2021 Subaru Outback. I am so excited. I have been dying to get my hands on one of these and the chip shortage has made it almost impossible. So we are here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're actually at Earnhardt Lexus, but they had this user on the lot with 8,000 miles on it. And I said, give me the keys. I need to put some car seats in this thing. If this is your first time joining me. Hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of two and a certified child passenger safety tech. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below about which cars to tour next. Let's get started. Okay, so like I said, this is a 2021 Subaru Outback Limited. Uh, it's in brown. Uh, but I know that's for some people. It's not for this person. But if you're a brown car stan, I think Subaru makes a decent looking brown. I don't know, comment below what you think. Let's start with the front end. Super basic. I mean, this front end, yawn. Already forgot what it looks like. But that's kind of the Subaru way, right? It's rugged, it's no nonsense, it's simple. I don't think I'm supposed to love the exterior of this car. I think I'm supposed to tolerate it because of all of the other amazing safety, reliability things that it has to offer. Because the exterior, this wagon look, and I don't even hate wagons, I hate the look of this wagon. But I'm not here to just talk about how it looks, I'm talking, here to talk about how it functions. Move along to her side profile. You know, it's a more of the same kind of thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Looks like a little bit of a mouse. Wheels are looking cute. We love a two-toned wheel. That's looking cute. And it just like has some of these like rugged elements. I will say it's cohesive and I will say I think there's things to like about it. Like we've got, you know, the black plastic here that's similar to these intense roof rails to like put kayaks and tents and things like that. Like these are actually like functional. Sometimes I'm like, oh, they're chrome, they're faux roof rails. These are actually roof rails, people. Wow, let's take a moment to look at them. The chrome all around here is kind of killing me, like the brown, the chrome, the brown, the black, like that's a lot going on, it's a lot for me to digest. Gonna move on. Come back to her back end. Yep. Again, more of the same. One thing that I love about the Subarus is they are all all-wheel drive. This specific one is a four-cylinder and it's a CVT transmission. Okay, I know I was harsh on the exterior. I already know I love the interior, so let's hop in. Okay, let's dive into this interior. Mm, I am excited to be here. Starting with the door panel. It's rugged, it's industrial, it is almost functional. And then they do this. Oh, it fits! Oh, live reaction, I didn't think it was gonna fit. That's so exciting. Contrast stitching is looking good. The chrome right here, it's Harman Kardon sound system, Subaru. You did not have to pop off that hard. You know who else has Harman Kardon sound systems? BMW. Subaru. <laughs> okay, let me get you on the other side. Let's start with the dash. It's not digital, it's okay. Remember, I told you, she's like a rugged. That's kind of what she does. The steering wheel is a lot. The steering wheel looks like a Game Boy controller or a PlayStation controller. All these buttons. There's buttons here, there's buttons here, there's buttons here. It has a lot of buttons. It means it has a lot of fun features. We have a heated steering wheel. We've got the Bluetooth. We've got the automated cruise control. We've got the lane keep assist. We've got the blind spot. She is a safety feature queen. Amazing. Vents right here. Love it. Obsessed. Obsessed with the integration of this screen. This is what Google a picture of the Ford Ex of the brand new 2022 Ford Expedition with the iPad screen. This is what they should have done. This looks like a Volvo. This is like a Tesla. This is called an integrated iPad. I am obsessed. Also, check out the colors. Look at the starry night behind this thing. This thing is freaking darling. I am am I crazy to be so into this display? Let's play around with it for a minute. Go to the map. Love it. Go back to the home. Go to your apps. Love it. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Amazing. Super user friendly. I'm loving that this home button always takes me back here. I would like to like see how long it takes me to do something. So like if I want to change the radio station, okay, that's easy. I have my presets down here. I love, I love when they do this. I love when they keep a lot of things in the screen, but then pull out those important features. I love that they did this because there is nothing more annoying than hot air blasting on your face. So the fact that they just kept the climate control here to just live here forever, and they put some buttons out here. The screen to button ratio on this car is chef's kiss. I've said that a lot this weekend, but like it's because it's true. It takes out the things I need. Like if the, if like the radio is blasting, quickly turn it down. If my kids are screaming because they're hot, quickly turn it down. Loving that. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it, but I'm excited. Okay, so we've got a sunroof, love. Two cup holders, and these cup holders are deep. Like 
it's not going anywhere. Like I hate a little shallow cup holder, Audi. I'm looking at you. A little shallow cup holder, you do a right turn, this thing goes flying. Deep. Center console, again, don't ever know what that's for. It's like a magic trick. Super tiny, super small, but it's a small five passenger car. So like, let's just not be too sassy, but it's a tiny, tiny center console. We've got a 12 volt in there. We've got two USBs up here. And we still have a little phone cubby there, which I think is nice. This shifter, huge, taking up so much space. Would love to see this. I actually am really into, comment below if you're into the, um, what are those called? Like the, like the button shifters? I'm sure there's like a better word for it. No. No, 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 like the little buttons. Power shifters? Not sure. Comment below. Comment below, but aren't we, aren't we past these? I don't know, maybe people still want them. Little ledge right here is looking cute. Great size glove box. Seats are comfortable. Okay, I had to bring you back over here because as a tall driver, as a six foot tall driver, look at this, a knee extender. So I can get some knee support because Subaru cares about the tall people. Thank you, Subaru. That's what makes a Subaru, a Subaru. <laughs> okay, second row. All right, car seat setup. It is surprising. It is above the government standard because what did Subaru do? They put in five lower anchors. That means each outboard seat has its own lower anchor. In the middle seat has just one, but what is that one for? It is to give families the option, the flexibility, to install a car seat in the middle seat with the lower anchors if that is their preference. It is not saying that you can install three car seats with lower anchors because lower anchor sharing of two car seats is not allowed. However, if you are a family of one or maybe two and you want to install your infant seat in the middle or your rear facing car seat in the middle with latch, Subaru's like, go ahead and do it. Across the back, we have three tether anchors. That is government standard, but there's only three seats. So what else could they really do? And she is spacious. Let's hop in. Okay, here's a shot of me in the second row of the Subaru Outback between two car seats. I'm a little tight. However, I have not brought the most compact car seats with me. We are just using what we have. So we have two Graycos on either side. I think maybe with more slimmer car seats, I may be more comfortable, but I just wanted to give you an idea of the spacing. So we have both these seats up for myself at, a bit, at about six feet tall. As you can see with the rear facing seat, great clearance, forward facing seat, obviously good clearance. As far as amenities go back here, we have leather back pockets on either side, vents right here, two USBs and heated seats in the limited trim, which is super exciting. We will do a little cup holder test on this door panel right here because I believe that's the only cup holder. Oh no, I found some more. Cup holders right here as well. But see, that's that, that's that shallow stuff in that. But I mean, they're second row cup holders. I wasn't expecting much. And then we do have a nice looking side cubby right there. And that checks that box, that fits. Okay, let's check out the trunk. We have a single bob stroller here because I felt like these went really well together. You know what I mean? Beautiful, tr I mean, a beautiful trunk space. Look at this. All these all weather mats that came with it. Amazing. Let's see if there's anything fun underneath here. I don't think there is. No, my, oh, a little bit of something, something, but nothing crazy. There is a little bit of a pocket right here. And then you can put the seats down with these levers on either side. We have a privacy cover, which is awesome. Let's just throw this little thing in here though to give us a little bit of an idea. Woo! Whoa. I mean, great spacing. I could put that all sorts of different ways. It's a nice size trunk. It's a nice car. I really do think for like a five passenger car for any sort of like active family. I mean, this is hard to beat. This is awesome. I love the infotainment system. I love the spacious second row. I like how it feels. It's really comfortable. I don't love the CVT transmission, but that's me. That's me. I'm different. I'm not like other girls. <laughs> God. Okay guys, so that's going to wrap up this 2021 Subaru Outback Tour. Thank you so much to Earnhardt Lexus here in Phoenix, Arizona for letting us borrow your used car. Had a lot of fun with this one. Please subscribe to my channel, comment below, and I will see you guys next time.